Now, Matt Bevin is the governor of Kentucky, and he has a new idea on how to lower the growing crime rate in Louisville. Now, in a report last year, the LMPD released its violent crime report for uh, incidents from January through April of last year. Now, the result, of course, of this report was disastrous. Since 2015, Louisville had, had witnessed 36 hom homicides and 149 shootings. The homicides represent a 44% increase from this point in 2015. Uh, and the shootings had a 39% increase from 2015 to 2016. So that seems to be a fairly big increase on both shootings and homicides. Now, luckily, Matt Bevin, well, he's got a plan to fix this. Roving prayer patrols. I shit you not. Bevan recently suggested a community meeting, according to WHAS, uh, the Louisville ABC station, uh, that volunteer groups between three and ten people would adopt specific blocks and walk around them while praying. Not like reporting crime or anything, or stopping crime, which would be, look, admittedly, if you're somebody who's walking around praying, generally you don't want to try to stop crime. You would normally call it in, okay? But they're not even going to do that. They're just going to pray. Wonderful. He says, you know, walk, you walk to a corner, pray for the people, talk to the people along the way. No songs, no singing, no bullhorn, no t-shirts, no chanting. Be pleasant. Talk to the people. That's it. Later on, he tweeted, prayer will change things. Prayer is powerful, and the people united in prayer will make a difference in their communities. He wrote in another tweet. Prayer patrols. Oh, boy. So, look, the whole idea, if you're going to walk around and you're going to talk to people uh, and you're going to, you know, be nice to them in the community, be respectful, whatever, be pleasant. Okay, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Those are all positive things. If you want to pray, if, if you want to pray, great. Whatever. But that's not going to stop crime. When has prayer ever stopped any crime? Come on, man. In fact, some of the communities and with uh, that are suffering from this violence, this violent uptick in Louisville, actually had to push back against this idea. Now, this is uh, Joe Phelps. He is Reverend Joe Phelps of the Highland Baptist Church. Now, he told WHAS, quote, I believe in prayer. I'm a pastor. I pray every day. I pray all the time. That's not the answer here. <laughs> In fact, this gets even better. For him to reduce the problems of violence to getting people to go and pray for a block is an embarrassment to Christianity. I feel embarrassed for the Christian faith if the governor of Kentucky is saying these things as a solution to violence in our community. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> but wait. This next quote is even better. This is, represent, uh, this, is, this is Reverend Clay Calloway of the West Louisville Ministers Coalition. He said he was so disgusted by the governor's comments that he walked out of the meeting. Quote, the only thing I wish was present was a barf bag in front of my seat so I could throw up. Calloway told a local Fox affiliate WDRB. Otherwise, I might have stayed a little, a little bit longer. Damn, dude. And look, not like this guy's a part of the local atheist group. These are both reverends. And they're both saying this is a ridiculously stupid idea. Yes, we pray. We're religious people. But that is not going to stop murders. That's not going to stop crime. What are you doing? We need actual resources to help. Not prayer gangs. Which is not even fair to call them gangs, but... Now, there are other uh, pastors that are a little bit more supportive of this, uh, even if they're a little skeptical. One of them is Oliver Evans of the Spradling Memorial AME Zion Church. Now, he told the NBC station WAVE, W-A-V-E, that although he had some mixed feelings, overall, he said, you know what? Couldn't hurt. As a matter of fact, I will share this with my congregation when we meet on Sunday. So, yeah, mixed feelings. Like, it's not really going to do anything, but... Is it going to hurt anything? Well, I guess not. It's his prayer. All right, well. 
Now, you do have one uh, person named Mishon, uh, Mishorn Daniels of God's Life Matter who said he was encouraged by the plan. Quote, it's a seed. Like with anything, if you don't do anything, you don't get nothing. Kind of like what I feel about prayer. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> but if you apply something and the prayer is a seed, you look to see what happens from that. So that's why I support the idea. So basically, like, I don't know, it's better than doing nothing. But praying is doing nothing. Because there's nobody there. At least, look, that's my opinion. Obviously, there's a lot of people who don't share that opinion. But I don't think there's anything there, dude. What are you, what are you praying to? No, you're just talking to yourself. And, and if that makes you feel better, that's fine. Now, you have uh, Rashad Abdur Rahman, who was uh, head of the city's Office of Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods. He told radio station WEKU that Bevan had simply oversimplified the issue. Quote, it's unfortunate that he doesn't know what's been going on in the city. It's unfortunate that he hasn't cultivated the relationships locally in such a way that he doesn't know that the people are already doing this work. They're already going around praying. He's not really in touch. Yeah, of course he's not in touch. The guy thinks that prayer is going to solve problems. Again, prayer, in my opinion, it makes people feel good, right? Makes you feel like you did something, but in reality, you really didn't do a whole lot of anything. You didn't accomplish anything. Either God is not listening or God is not really like a, a, a you know, a genie who's going to grant your wishes. No, it's either not listening, doesn't care, or doesn't exist. That's why nobody gets anything from prayer other than feeling a little bit better. So I think instead of doing prayer patrols, you can pray all you want. And that's fine. I don't have an issue with it. But instead of doing those prayer patrols, we could maybe, I don't know, try to solve the problems of poverty, drug addiction, and mental illness. Those are things that contribute to crime. And so the thing I think here is, and this is more about Bevan than about anybody else. Bevan, I think, considers crime to be that of an immoral person. And if you just pray for somebody, that'll get rid of their criminal impulses. That'll make them more moral and therefore, they won't do crime. Well, it turns out that's not that's not correct at all. People who are who commit crimes in America are Christian overwhelmingly, not because Christianity is bad. It's because most of the people in America happen to be Christian. There's not some minority of, you know, non Christians that are committing all the crimes. No, no, we live in a Christian country. We're well, not Christian country, like not that way. Uh, but with a country that is majority Christian. That is 70% of us that are, are Christians in America right now. A lot of the crime, a big percentage of that crime is committed by people who are Christian. Not because, again, that Christian, it, not because Christianity is a bad thing and that people who are Christian are, are criminals. It has nothing to do with their religion. It just happens to do with the percentages of people in your country. That's it. It's, again, it's not a moral thing. Crime and criminality is not a moral issue. Most often it's a socioeconomic issue, uh, an issue of poverty, an issue of possible drug addiction, which Kentucky is being hit by the, the, you know, opioid epidemic as well. And, you know, poverty and hopelessness and all that stuff does breed crime. Maybe if we were to fix those actual issues, I don't know, might actually do a lot better, but instead... Solving a non-religious problem, the, the problem of crime, with a religious solution, it is asinine at best and altogether, in my opinion, pretty ridiculous. Hey, Bevan, let's, let's, let's have some real solutions, okay? Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.